Before his death, Edgar Allan Poe was found on the street, delirious and in heavily soiled, shabby clothing that was clearly not his own. On his deathbed, he was racked with fever dreams and vivid hallucinations, while calling out for someone named Reynolds. Below is an account of his final days. Edgar Allan Poe left Richmond, Virginia, on November 7, 1875, headed for Philadelphia to edit a collection of poems. Instead, he was found in Baltimore six days later. His journey from Richmond to Baltimore remains a mystery, with no sightings or explanations to fill the gap. When discovered, Poe's clothing was dirty and ill-fitting, suggesting foul play or extreme disarray. His incoherence and inability to explain his state added to the mystery. Joseph Walker, a local typesetter, found Poe and managed to alert Joseph East Nagress, an acquaintance with medical training. Despite their efforts, Poe's condition only worsened, and his final days were marked by delirium and confusion. Unable to explain his circumstances or how he got there, Poe's condition rapidly deteriorated. For four days, Poe languished in Washington College Hospital, plagued by hallucinations and fever dreams. He repeatedly called out for a mysterious Reynolds, a person unknown to his friends and family. On November 17, 1875, Edgar Allan Poe passed away, his cause of death listed as phrenitis, or swelling of the brain, a diagnosis that has since been called into question.